Hi, I'm Jess, and today we're going to look at the Intelligent Manual Call Point and how to install it correctly. First, cut a hole in your substrate for cabling access. Use an appropriate size. We've used a 20mm hole saw. Fasten the manual call point back box to the substrate using four fixing screws. Make sure it is level and secure. Attach the mounting bracket to the back box using the fixing screws provided. Do not over tighten the screws. Strip the conductors to the correct length and push them through the hole. You may need to apply sleeving to the screen conductor. For this demonstration, we've used green and yellow sleeving. Before wiring the terminal block, you'll need to address the device first. In this demonstration, we're addressing the manual call point with address 17. This means switching number one and number five away from the on. The eighth digit is reserved for core protocol applications only. The final switch is determined by the system you're using. For this step, you'll need to wire the head unit. Terminate the negative out to the L negative terminal and the positive out to the L positive terminal. And then the positive in to the L positive terminal and the negative in to the L negative terminal. Refer to the installation guide diagrams for more information. Fasten the screen connections to the screen terminal. Insert the terminal block into the head unit. Attach the head unit to the mounting bracket. And now the intelligent manual call point is installed. To activate the device, press the center button. This will click into place and show yellow and black stripes to indicate that the manual call point has been activated. To reset the device, you'll need a reset key. Insert it into the slot and turn clockwise. The mechanism will turn back into place and the device will reset. To remove the head unit, you'll also need the reset key. First, insert it into the slot. Place a finger on the top of the head unit and turn the key counterclockwise while pushing down lightly with your finger. The unit should separate with the mounting bracket and you'll have access to the wiring. Thanks for watching. For more information on testing and resetting the manual call point or for conventional manual call point installation, check out these videos.